Ocho Mayor Samuel Toyamsep said Salat is honored for his role in unifying residents of the town through his informative and entertaining radio programs. This occasion is always not easy. It's an occasion that is filled of all the feelings as human beings because we have been together with Salat as colleagues, as parents, as family members, as friends. Now this morning is the morning that we are um, giving that honor in his name. NBC's head of radio services, Mushitu Mukwame, says the late Salat should be viewed as a social hero who carved a niche for himself in radio broadcasting after discovering his raw talent of public speaking that could engage audiences for hours. People are like Salat are the ones who have actually took us along through their programming, which is why my appeal to you today and my appeal to everyone listening to us, you know, this street renaming is but one of those events which must come to our minds and get stuck in our hearts. We must always remember, you know, the origin of this street and how did it come about. Imga Tawasas Idan, Salat's mother, thanked NBC management for ensuring Salat was laid amongst his people in Ojo and helping for his legacy to live on. <laughs> NBC put themselves in a position to bring Salat and bury him here in Ocho. They have named a street after him. I thank God as he continues to give me strength. I thank my family for always standing by my side through the difficult time and up until now. I give thanks to all. Thousands of people have flocked to the Kaisem Sports Games and Entertainment, which kicked off on Friday and concludes on Monday. Faith Sankwesa, NBC News, Ochiwarongo.